Hello everybody, this is Justin from KQS, and this is the Halo 5 Beta. Um, I just wanted to, uh, I've been playing this for a few weeks, and I just wanted to kind of give my impressions over this. And, uh, this is pre-recorded gameplay, so, uh, <laughs> if I could, if I could play, if I could commentate like this and play as well as I did in this game, I would be pretty amazed. But, um, uh, yeah, um, first of all, yeah, first week was really rough, and I just wanted to talk, oh, man. First week was really rough, and just, like, the hit detection was really bad. Like, I would be around the corner, and I would die, and I'd look at the kill cam, and basically, they wouldn't, they would actually would not be shooting me at all, which was really horrible. Oh, yeah, I don't recommend trying that. That is the worst. Don't ever do that. <laughs> don't ever try to be stylish like me right there. I barely, I was lucky to survive. But, um, now week three, everything's going pretty well, and I think I more so like week three because they, uh, they give you the battle rifle and the assault rifle, uh, standard before it was the pistol, and I kind of wish the pistol was a lot stronger. I kind of wish it was like the Halo Reach pistol. But, uh, beggars can't be choosers, but... Um, let's see, the hit detection is a lot better, it plays much better, but it's still one of those games, like, I, it, oh, actually, um, yeah, um, some of the complaints I have for this, like, it, it's not necessarily the, uh, like, the gameplay, the multiplayer, it's kind of their design choices, I kind of think the design is a little, uh, I don't really care for some of the new moves. Like, I like the parkour moves. I like the the uh, when you're in full sprint, you kind of have jet jet boosters, and you can kind of do like a power slide into people. And I've seen that beat swords, which is pretty nice because the sword is kind of like once you see that sword, unless you have a shotgun or something equal ground, you're gonna die. <laughs> but um, the two biggest ones that I kind of complain about is the. The weird jet boosters and the the ground pound. The ground pound, like, oh, well, I like the thruster jets because I can do this and parkour onto this ledge over here, but other than that, the, like, the ground pound, oh, it's, it's not very good. Like, I don't really see, it's not practical, and that's what I don't like about it. It's, it's not like a Call of Duty, uh, Advanced Warfare ground pound kind of thing where it's like, it's faster, but with this, uh, the ground pound, like, you stay in the air for three seconds. You can get shot. I mean, a lot can happen in three seconds. And that's what sucks about it. Like, you have to charge up. You have to choose where you want to go. And it has this dumb, this, like, dumb red X at a certain angle. And, like, you can't really aim. I've never used it. Enough. Like, I don't use it. It's one of those things where it's just, like, it's there, but it's just, like, it offers no tactical advantage, in my opinion. But, with, uh, yeah, the ground pound, I've seen people use it, and it's funny when people try to use it on me, like, I, I get, I, I, I get caught up in it sometimes, like, the only time I ever get caught up in it is if, like, if it's, like, a two-on-one -on -one fight, and I'm fighting one person, and the other person's above me, and they ground pound, I'll die like that. It's, it's kind of like, if they don't know you're there... <laughs> They will die, but if you if they do know you're there, and I've seen a lot of people try to do that, and it's it's the funniest thing. Someone ground tried to ground pound, and I just ran forward, evading it. I got hit. I got hit with the shockwave. I just punched him after and killed him, and it was funny. It's not very practical, and the second thing that's not really that practical is the the jet booster thingy. Like it. it it just seems worthless because it's not like the jetpack in which you can elevate higher. You um, so how it works is you jump in the air and you aim down sight. And basically, what happens is you're hovering in the air. You uh, slowly descend. You're not uh, you're not ascending like a jetpack. You're just slowly descending. Oh, and it's not very good. It just it kind of. You're basically, again, like with the, the ground pound, you're, you're essentially just a big sitting duck. And that's probably one of the biggest problems with it. Is, ugh, a lot can happen when you're, <laughs> when you're staying still. You can get shot in the head, you can, ugh, bad things can happen to you, and it's, 
Uh, it's not good. Like, I, I know, as, again, it's one of those techniques. I never use it, and, like, it kind of makes it sad because there's a lot of good, um, you, you get in, like, the old Halo games, there, you, 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 sometimes you get in a good, uh, DMR, battle rifle, duel, one-on-one -on -one with someone, and it was really awesome because you juke, jive, left, right, jump, crouch, use everything at your disposal to, uh, get this guy off your, shooting you in the head. But in this one, if you jump and aim and shoot, you either better hope that you're, you boot, you, uh, use a thruster pack to dodge out of the way, or just accept your death. Uh, but this game is a lot of fun. I, I won't lie, aside from those minor stuff, oh yeah, you can't crouch jump. Crouch jumping, uh, well, you got, if a lot of people know, crouch jumping is the fun of Halo. You can get to certain ledges by crouch jumping, and, uh, people didn't know who didn't know how to crouch jump, or grenade jump, or any of those old, old school techniques, you would be at a huge disadvantage. And especially when you can get to certain spots that other people couldn't, in which uh, a lot of the developers made those jumps exclusively for the people who uh, know the lay of the land. This one you can't, because every time you try to jump and uh, hit crouch in the air, you do a whole stupid ground pound, slows you down. Not good. But other than that, I kind of... Uh, at first, I kind of hated it, because I... I I didn't really care. I never really cared. I didn't really start to care for it. Like, it just... Ugh, it wasn't... It feels like Halo, but it doesn't at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's kind of a weird thing because... Ugh, Halo is a dinosaur <laughs> when it comes to shooters because it's slow. It's... It, it plays... It plays along in, like, the old-school style of games. Like, you were assigned one weapon and you get fine weapons on the field. Power we The power weapons. You get... Rocket long like Call of Duty, you choose your loadout. You get a shot. You can choose a shotgun. You can choose a rocket launcher. You can choose noob tubes and all that stuff. But on uh, Halo and uh, old school style game, you find all your weapons on the map, and that's probably the best part of um, Halo. That's what makes Halo Halo. And Halo Four did the whole loadout thing. Yeah, it, it kind of. It failed a little bit. I mean, it really did, because, of course, it, if it was successful, Halo 5 would have loadouts and all that crap. But I did like the fact that you could choose your kind of primary weapon, like assault rifles, uh, marksman stuff, which was nice because, oh, there's so many, there's so many weapons. There's human weapons, Prometheans, and Covenant weapons all at the same time, and that just, it got out of it. All the weapons we have... <laughs> It gets out of hand. <laughs> so I understand that they kind of di they're dialing it back, and I kind of like how it feels. But the certain small aesthetics of not crouch jumping, and I don't mind sprint. Sprint is fine. Every time I play Reach, I would use sprint instead of like all the other stuff. Sprint was handy, but it wasn't like this amazing um, armor ability. Um. The biggest thing is, uh, am I going to get Halo 5? Uh, I probably am. Like, as I said, it, it, it takes a long time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it kind of, it starts to feel the same, but it starts to, like, I appreciate they're trying to make something new out of it, but I kind of miss, well, I, I like the simplicity. Simplicity is good, and that's what makes Halo good. And, uh, right here, what I'm doing is just, uh, I'm just showing off you can still customize your Spartan, and it's something cool that I like. I uh, hope you can. I kind of hope. I kind of wish that you could choose like actual elites or uh, other races, but customizing your Spartan is pretty awesome. And I really, I don't know. The one thing I hope is I hope that you can use. Or I, I hope that you can kind of. You get a little uh, gift for playing the beta when you start Halo Five. I, I would love that honestly, but. Halo 5 is good. It's great if you have a good team. Like, oh, I was having I was having a bad set when I was recording this. As I said, I recorded about almost an hour and a half, and this is 13 minutes. <laughs> 13, about an hour, over an hour of 
bad games, bad teammates, people who don't. Uh, oh, I wish it would just kick players that don't um, play. Because um, some games that I had, I had, there was one game where I had two people that just were not playing. They were away from their controller, wasting all the, <laughs> wasting all that time just sitting there. And I think they played the last, like, minute <laughs> in which we needed them. It is like, uh. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to let you guys go from here, edit this, get this done. But um, I'm going to get Halo. I'll probably do a review. I want to do a Master Chief Collection review and other stuff. But right now, I have more things to work upon. But I'll let you guys go from here. Um, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, for more reviews, randomness, and more stuff like this. Again, this is Justin from KQS, and until we meet again, comrades.